Okay, we're going to solve and we want to write our answer in standard form uh, if that applies. So for a problem like this, we have a couple different strategies to uh, solve that one. The first strategy would be to do some uh, factoring on that. But if you try and factor it, you'll find that you're not going to be able to do that because 3 times 6 is 18. You look for numbers that multiply to make 18 and add to be negative 4. You're not going to find anything that works there. So because of that, we have to use actually the quadratic formula. So I'm going to do that on this one. So A is 3, B is negative 4, and C is going to be 6. So now we want to put the numbers into the quadratic. Uh, so the way that works is the first part of the formula is negative B. So I have negative times negative 4, and it's plus or minus the square root of, it's B squared minus 4AC. So B squared is negative 4 squared minus 4 times A, A is 3, and C is 6. So that's B squared minus 4AC. On the bottom, I have 2 times A or 2 times 3. I want to simplify this. I get positive 4 plus or minus the square root 16 minus 72. On the bottom I get 6. We already noticed that there's, an, a, there's definitely going to be an i involved in this one because this is going to give us a negative number. So whenever you have the square root of a negative number, that's going to involve an i. We want to keep on going. We're going to simplify that inside one. You're going to get negative 56 over 6 there. Now, the square root of negative 56, if you have something like that, you do want to break that down as much as possible. So if we take a look at that, square root of negative 56, this is the same thing as 4 times 14 uh, times the negative 1. So I am allowed to pull a, a 2 on the outside. I have a square root of negative 1, which is going to be an i, and then I get square root of 14 you can't do any more with. That's going to be 2 times 7, so there's nothing else that you can pull out of there. So therefore, this I can turn into 4 plus or minus 2i over the square root, square root of 14, all of that over 6. This is not in proper standard form. Again, you need to have two separate fractions when you have something like this. So I want to do 4 over 6 plus or minus 2i square root of 14 over 6. I want to break these down separately, so two, 4 over 6 is going to be 2 thirds. And then I can also break down this one, that's going to be uh, 2 over 6 is 1 third. And so I can write it just like this. So I get 2 thirds plus or minus i times the square root of 14 all over 3. So this, these are, this is my a part and this is the b part there.